Hello everybody, my name is Freddy and today we'll be unboxing the P1S Bamboo Labs 3D printer. Let's get started. So just to preface, I have zero experience with 3D printing. I've done enough research to decide on what 3D printer I wanted to buy, um, but as far as 3D printing goes, I have never touched a 3D printer in my entire life, nor have I ever done a 3D printing build. So why, you might be asking, did I land on the P1S out of all of the other 3D printers? Well, first of all, the reviews on it is great. Uh, Bamboo Labs is a relatively new company in the 3D printing space, but the reviews on the P1S, P1P, and even the, the P1 Carbon have been great. Uh, there's only concerns a little bit around how they're gonna handle all of the servicing and the um, customer support with the increase in people purchasing their units. Uh, but besides from that, people have been saying great things about their units. Uh, the P1S has a few specs uh, that goes with it that's really good and kind of attracted me to it. Uh, one, it's one of the fastest 3D printers out there. It's one of the most reliable 3D printers out there. And it came with an enclosed case and an AMS system. And if you don't know what an AMS system is, it allows me to do multiple colors at one time. I won't be doing that in this video, but I may be setting it up. I don't know. I haven't done an unboxing before, so I guess we'll find out. So let's get started. I'll start opening up this small box and we can see what is inside. I have not looked inside of either one, so you're gonna get the raw perspective from me as far as what I've gone ahead and bought. Okay, so opening this smaller box, let's see what we have. So it does indeed look like we've got two filaments, the anti-vibration feet, a 3D printer AMS feeder, Nozzle wiper, uh, that is the BLP001 AMS filament hub. Blue stick for build plate, lots of those. Hot end with hardened steel, bamboo scraper, the BBL001 AMS filaments hub, the engine model components, BLP001 AMS driven sleeve, uh, another one BLP001 AMS driving sleeve, and the bamboo dual-sided dual texture plate. There. Um, I'm actually going to put a lot of those back in the box so we can move on to the bigger guy. Okay, so we've got this guy, this monstrosity, which is the actual 3D printer itself. I'm assuming the AMS system is tucked inside. I've seen some un unboxing videos where they just keep it inside the actual unit. The unit itself should come pretty pre-assembled um, and hopefully with an instruction manual so I can figure out how to build it. So let's get opening. We do get some other things in the box with it. Um, for instance, we get this uh, supported for PLA with spool. So we get white, uh, by the looks of it, I think white PLA. Oh, we got some other colors as well. So we've got orange and we've got green. And that is everything in the box. So the rest of the compartments must be in here itself, including the instructions, which I can see is on the top. So the first thing that I did was I took off the top plate. I then removed the box from inside the unit and the instructions that was attached to the top plate. We then removed the screws that were attaching the AMS to the AMS stand. Once the screws are out, we then slid the AMS system out from the top of the unit. I then removed the four screws that were attaching the AMS stand to the unit. Once I removed the AMS stand from the unit through the top, I then also removed the cardboard around the head. We then removed the styrofoam from the disposable chute. After that, I removed the three screws from the plate bed and I ended up removing the plate as well. You do not need to do that. Leave the plate on. Once the unit is in its startup phase, we can then remove the styrofoam as it will lift the bed. 
We then attach the screen to the front, which is just plugging it in and then sliding it on. Super simple. We removed all the plastic from all of the units. I placed the AMS system on the top and connected the correct wires and filament tubes. If you have an AMS system, you don't need to do this part, but I did end up adding this full bracket on the back and then instantly removed it once I realized that. Then once all of that is done, that is literally the setup process. Now you just go onto the device and onto the app to connect the device to the internet. Um, and then on the device itself, it will lead you through certain steps and then do a whole startup phase, which takes about, I think like 10 minutes. Super simple. We have a little icon of a folder and there's already some preset um, things that we can build here. And I believe we're gonna do the uh, 3D Benchy, I believe is what we'll click. I'll shut the door. Actually, I'll leave the door open. Yep, click that. And it should take about 13 minutes and 34 seconds, I believe. And we'll click print and we'll see what happens. Okay, so there we have it, our very first 3D printed build. And I gotta say, it turned out amazing, better than I expected. Uh, the only thing I did find quite difficult, even though this is probably far, by far one of the easiest things to build, was actually the instructions. The instructions for something that should be, you know, a 15 minute build was kind of all over the place and very vague in certain regard. Um, I feel like if they just put a little bit more time on doing a step-by-step -step process, for the entire unit, maybe even having the AMS system as its very own individual instruction sheet instead of kind of saying, if you have an AMS system, uh, that would have been better. But overall, very pleased with it. Really excited to make some new stuff with this. And um, yeah, I think it's amazing. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. Whilst you're at it, why don't you check out some of this other content?